It's time to fire this thing up. Hit it. Great to see you. It's been a while. Uh, yeah, it's been about 10 days yeah. since the first time you and I met. Like forever when I'm waiting to. I know. Okay, I so. Know. So you gave me right. a wish list. Of yeah, some when we got together, my wife and I are just absolute diehard boaters. Uh, I finally got a place down here in Florida. We're on a beautiful canal, but there's nothing out here on the. Uh, no docks, no nothing. So yeah. we had to fix that. So I came to you with our list. I know uh, we wanted a large. A large area in the center of our dock, so we can get, you know, gather a lot of friends and have a lot of fun parties out on the deck. Yeah. But we also had to have room for two boats. We're gonna have two boats down here, and you know, I kind of turned you loose with that. I wanted you kind of give us something not too flashy, but something that stood out. So kind of anxious to see what you came up with. Sure. So I have come up with a couple of different things for you. I think this is going to be an amazing dock. Great. Um, I do have two boat lifts on either side. Right. I've good. got pilings out here. Boom, two, three foot walkway all the way out for 27 feet. You had a max projection of 30 feet Third, here. Right, right. I see you used on your all canal. that. I did for the center part. Right. Um, those fingers are mirrored on either side just so you can have access to your boats from either side. Right, great. That's a okay. good idea. So this common area right here is going to be the main central entertainment oh, party boy. area. Yeah, this is going to awesome. be so fantastic. And yeah. good deal you made it. Hi, I'm John Graviscus. Where we're at is in Cape Coral, and uh, who we have back on the program is a really old friend. I mean, really, we've known each other for years, Quite Clint. Quite a few years, yeah, yeah. Um, this is Clint Bland, and he's the owner of Flatwater, right. which is the makers of Shark Hide Metal Protectant. And we also have Nikki Andrews with yep. us, and, and Nikki is with one of the bigger marine contractors in the, in the state of Florida. And uh, the name of the company is WB uh, Williamson Brothers Incorporated. I mean, you guys are all over the state. You had a vision. You're going to live your life here on the on this dock. Well, that's what we told Nikki. I said I, I'd live in a cardboard box up here, but make the dock nice. What is this square um, in the middle of the tiki? Yeah, that's my little surprise. Right? Absolutely, <laughs> this is for Clint. Um, so when you're sitting here under your tiki, enjoying your Florida lifestyle, right? right? Now you have access to see what is going on below your dock. This is a 42 by 42 glass, impact glass floor. Whoa. That is awesome. That just allows you to see everything that's going on underneath. One of the oh, great things too is we're going to throw a reef ball up under that okay. to attract what, fish. What's a reef ball? A reef ball is a 350 pound piece of concrete with holes all in it. Right. It is a fish habitat. It's an artificial reef. Very, very good. Yeah. Now, um, Nikki, you guys, you guys do everything yep. with, with marine. You, you do the sea walls, you do the boat lifts, you do the, you know, the docks and all that. Absolutely. Um, what boat lift do you go with? Well, after a lot of searching, I ended up with a deco lift. Uh, it's a four post beamless lift. Uh, I wanted to get the, the view as good as possible. So they're real short pilings, four motor drive, beautiful lift. Another reason I went with them is their warranty is great. All the parts are built right here in the U.S. Actually, the gearboxes are manufactured by Deco right there in their plant. I think they're the only company that manufactures them. And, you know, parts availability is important to me. I, I maintain my own equipment, and it's terrible having to wait for things. But, and I have to be honest, another little tipping point was the folks at uh, Deco are now offering shark hide metal protectant as an option on all their aluminum lifts. Okay, hell, uh, first off, why does he need a, a lift? Why does he need a lift? Yeah, what, what type of water are we in here? So we are in salt water, okay. absolutely. And, and what would happen with uh, just regular aluminum, Clint, if, if you dunk it into the salt water and you raise it up, you dunk it into the salt water, right, what, what's right. going to happen to it? Well, first and foremost, uh, in any kind of water, you're going to get oxidation. The aluminum is going to darken, stain, and get it worse by the day, but salt water adds another peril. You're talking corrosion now. Right. That will eat away at the aluminum, not just make it look bad, but eat away at it. Okay, so so we're going to be right. offering a new line with, with Deco, and this is going to be kind of the Mac Daddy of boat loads. You also selected a composite tread 
for the doc. Right. You, you never recommend Nikki pressure treated, right? Oh, none of my worst enemy. No. <laughs> okay. So, so what composite decking did you go with? Well, we discussed that too, and I ended up with a company called Lumber Rock. Okay, uh, that's this right here. Correct. What, uh, what colors did you pick? Well, we went with these two colors. Right. So he picked this out is the, the putty. putty. Right. So this is going to be the main color on, on the right. common area and the everything? The putty will be the main deck area, and the harbor wood is going to be trimmed out. And Nikki told us that uh, the folks that are actually going to uh, build the deck, you know, when they have transition spots between one direction of wood or the other, they'll put uh, trim strips in there of, of offsetting of, oh, that's of, of gonna different look colors. That's, that's really, really going to look great. Good. Well, what we're going to be doing today, guys, on sure. the program is, and it might take a couple of episodes, uh, from start to finish on what it takes to put in a dock and what it takes to put in a boat lift, uh, going through the permitting process, the manufacturing process, the installation process, conceptual to reality. But where we really need to give kudos is to the companies, the great companies in the marine industry who help make ShipShape TV possible. ShipShape TV, where boat improvement lives, is made possible by Deco Boat Lifts, lifting your boats for over 60 years. Discover the Deco difference. And brought to you in part by the entire collection of beautiful Sunbrella fabrics. Sunbrella, the only fabric to offer both design and performance, above and below deck. And my Yamaha, where reliability starts here. Attention waterfront property owners already sold on the fact that synthetic lumber for decks and docks is far superior to the pitfalls of pressure treated wood. You know about the splintering and the weathering issues. However, not every composite board sold is alike. Some turn chalky, decay due to mold and mildew. Most fade in color with age, though not true when you opt for the best. Lumber Rock, the fastest growing manufacturer of synthetic lumber on and around the waterfront. Lumber Rock, we never fade away. Why is Sea Hunt now the number one selling fiberglass center console style boat 18 to 30 feet in America? Because when you buy a Sea Hunt, you get so much more. More standard features, more efficient running hulls. Look, guys, I'm running 34 miles an hour on just one engine. More cockpit space, more family time out on the water, more fishable, more funnable, so much more affordable. Sea Hunt, more, more, more. Reliability. Yamaha is known for it. And it's something boaters value, because these days, few things are built to last. When we find something that is, we hold on to friendships, traditions, outboards, because every second on the water is sacred. If you count on having this time, you need an outboard you can count on to power it. That's why boaters choose Yamaha for the long run, for life, because reliability starts here. Welcome back. You're watching ShipShape TV, boat improvement made easy. We are kind of covering the topic of building a dock and putting in boat lifts for the very first time today here at ShipShape TV. And I mean, we're covering it, all the aspects. And welcome back. Who we now have on the program, this is Jimmy Williamson. Jimmy is with a company called Williamson Brothers. And uh, you guys here, uh, we're in Cape Coral. You are marine contractors. Yes. Now, now, Clint definitely needs docks. You're an authority on that. He needs some boat lifts installed. Um, there's a couple of things that he selected, all right? He's gone with Lumber Rock, which is a composite decking material. And I know a lot of marine contractors, w when they're talking about their stringers, they normally go like 24 inches on center. We're going to need to switch that to 16 inches on right. center. I want to talk about the permitting process. We, we've already saw conceptual from your company. Okay, this is right. what it's gonna look like, Clint. Okay, how do we take it from a conceptual rendering to reality? W where does the whole process start? Well, the process starts uh, down at City Hall at the building department. We have to give them three copies of our uh, diagram. Do the different municipalities, do, do they have different uh, regulations and codes? Yes, they do. They, um, and here in the city of Cape Coral, you have a maximum allowed square feet of 1,200 square feet and or a uh, restriction based on the amount of water frontage you own. But in Lee County jurisdiction, there's no restriction on the amount of square feet. Really? Every, every jurisdiction is different. So okay, you have well, to be 
familiar with each municipalities. So, you, so you're taking Clint stock out. It's, it's going to go 27 feet out. That is that. That's the code. Would that be different in Naples? Yes, it would be different in Naples. Uh, in Naples, you're limited in some communities 20 feet um, with five foot, 15 foot setbacks. Okay, so, so so definitely you want to maybe get a marine contractor involved rather than trying to figure out all the different rules and regulations. Um, how long does it take to from application to actually receiving it to where you can start construction? It takes about uh, two weeks here in the city of Cape Coral. If you if the DEP or the Army Corps gets involved, it requires up to 30 or more days, depending on each uh, area. It's unique. Well, Williamson Brothers, um, y y you guys are kind of an institution here on the west coast of Florida. Give me the history of Williamson Brothers. Where, where did it all begin? Uh, Williamson Brothers began with my grandfather, who in 1967 began building seawalls here in Cape Coral. They've built about half of the 400 miles of uh, seawalls that we have here in Cape Coral. Oh my goodness. Him and my, uh, my father and uncles began um, in 67. When my brother and I came of age 23 years ago, we started uh, Williamson Brothers doing what they didn't do, boat docks, boat lifts, seawall, repair, replacement. So we come by doing seawall construction like this property here. We're equipped to come in here after the home is in place to replace the wall if need be. Okay, now is, is everything done by land or can you also do it by barge? Yeah, so we can come in either by land, uh, like next door is a vacant lot. Um, we do a land-based operation. Right, Clint has a house in the way. So, yeah, so you know. we, have a, we have a house here, so there's not enough room for equipment to get back here. So we come in by barge. Uh, we have uh, two barges here in Southwest Florida replacing seawalls. A lot of them were damaged from uh, Hurricane Irma. Right. And uh, we're one of the few contractors equipped to replace them by barge, which causes uh, as little disruption as possible to your life. How would somebody at home, if they're interested in you guys, how would they contact you? Uh, you go to our website, wbdocs.com, wbdocks.com. Jimmy, thank you so much for the information You're on welcome. permitting. Guys, right now we're going to take a quick time out, but I'm so excited. When we come back, we're actually going to be the deco plant. And uh, Clint uh, from Flatwater, you know, they're the makers of shark hide metal protectant, he's actually going to be teaching them how to apply it in the manufacturing process on his own lifts. So I'm really excited, and we're going to cover that right after this. Don't pull the plug. The boats, the tools, and ShipShape TV will be back in a snap. Now in our 45th year, KenCraft introduces the all-new 2020 KenCraft Bay Rider Bay Boats and Skiffs, powered exclusively by Yamaha, specifically designed to fish hard, specifically designed to cruise well with your family. Can there really be one boat that does both exceedingly well? Yes, there can, with a KenCraft. KenCraft, top tier fit and finish. KenCraft, only the best, most expensive marine hardware integrated. Can it be yours? Of course it can, affordably. KenCraftBoats.com. I mean, the ocean to me is just the full source of life. I mean, that's, that's where everything happens and that's where I feel at home. Uh, my favorite fish to target's all of them, man. I love catching all of them. I just want to come in with a box full of fish and be able to share them with all my friends. Every day, weather's changing, the stream's changing, currents are changing. I really enjoy the challenges of being out there and adapting to conditions, but nothing feels better than be able to share that experience with your family. We're Siren Marine. We design and build technology that gives you the power to know whether your boat is safe, secure, and ready to enjoy. The Siren Marine MTC is a practical solution that lets you connect to your boat from anywhere and monitor all your critical systems such as battery, bilge, temperature, shore power, and so much more. Never again be in the dark about your boat status. With the MTC, you'll have peace of mind and a better boating experience. Welcome back. You're dialed in to Shipshape TV, boat improvement that's easy to comprehend. Welcome back. We're now in Safety Harbor, Florida, very close to Clearwater. You guys are familiar with Clearwater Beach. And this is world headquarters for Deco boat lifts. And who we have back on the program is Chris Massal. Chris was the lead engineer on the updated welding equipment here. And Chris, you were kind enough to let me mount a GoPro onto one of the heads and to give everybody at home kind of a bird's eye view yep. of how this thing works. And I've never seen anything like it. And, and apparently it's like one of a kind here in the United States. Right. And uh, kudos to you with you know all of your abilities. This is really, really special. Thank you. 
I wanted to kind of show the audience how Clint Bland's boatless are going to be manufactured. Sure. Okay. And, and where would that process start? So we'll start with the stock material. Uh, we actually have stock 20 to 25 foot pieces of box beam aluminum. We'll pull it off the rack, we'll put it into our, our saw, cut it down, and move it into our welding facility. Why do you use a square like box beam or, or rectangular shaped box beam versus like an I-beam? So the reason why we've always used box beam compared to a C-channel or an I-beam, uh, what you find is that there's two stanchions extruded in both the horizontal and the vertical. So it gives you added support. It's not as prone to torsion and it's not as prone to uh, deflection under max load. Whereas okay. C-channel and I-beam, very weak. This is a low profile beamless lift that he's gone with. Correct. It does not have an upper beam. It's not going to impede on either looking at his dock or looking at the water. Right. It, it, it's really, a, oh my gosh, it's like one of your number one sellers yes. in that category of lifts. But um, I wanted to go through what gets built first. Is it the lower section of the lift or do you do the upper? Sure, so we'll actually start with the lower assembly. We'll actually weld the pulley brackets for the shift pulleys. For the lowers, we'll actually weld the spanner pipe sockets. And then once we finish all of the welding on the lowers, we'll, we'll then move on to the upper power heads. Okay, what, what is this component right here? So this right here is an upper power head. We're about halfway through welding and this is Clint Bland's 13,000 pound power head. And uh, what, we're, what we'll do here is this mount right here will mount directly to the boat lift piling. So the boat lift piling is right here. All right. The, the power head will mount to the inside of the piling with, with two big through bolts through the piling. And this is the actual power head itself made out of box beam. Okay, now there are four of them, one in each Correct. corner on both lifts. Correct. So you're going to have four of these. And what, what this is, it, it'll be complete once we see it soon. But what it is, is basically you have um, a power head, a gearbox, a motor, and you have the, the patented CRS on, on each piling. He was mentioning, and one of the reasons that he gravitated you know, your way is you're the only company that makes their own gearbox for the boat lift. Right. Why is that a big deal? So we've been manufacturing our own gearbox since 1959. We basically take uh, billet pieces of 6061T6, we CNC it down, we check all the tolerances of the box, we use a bronze bull gear, we use a, a hardened steel wormed gear, we fill the box with oil so you never have to grease anything, you don't have to worry about any, any gear on gear friction or metal on metal friction. Okay, so this is a sealed unit. Correct. Sealed okay. unit, very low maintenance, made for the salt water environment and it, it performs exceptionally well. He, he was mentioning me to something else about this uh, cable retention system that he's gone with. Patented cable retention system. Why is that a big deal to prevent a cable from jumping out of its groove and, and, and maybe coming across you know, another cable and, and keeping? So you don't want cables to rub against themselves or kink, or, or kink because what it'll cause is fraying and fraying will cause failure. Thank you so much. We're gonna take a real quick time out, but keep it right here because when we come back, Clint Bland is gonna teach you the sharp hide metal protectant, yep. how to apply it in a manufacturing setup. We're gonna cover it right after this critical timeout. Remember the glory days of gasoline? It's just not made the same anymore. Kick your gas into gear with StarTron. Pump up the performance in all of your engines. Cure the problems of ethanol with the power of enzymes. And maximize your mileage every time you drive. Kickstart your engines with StarTron. This is why we call them Ocean Tamer. Total body support and comfort. Shock absorbing marine beanbag chairs. Ocean Tamer, the most comfortable seat on board. Crafted from 100% marine grade materials. Built tough to handle the harsh marine environment. Water repellent, UV stabilized. Ocean Tamer marine beanbags. Four awesome styles, tons of color choices. Can be personalized with boat name or logo. Finally, two nylon handles for ease of carrying or stowing. Order yours today, ocean-tamer.com. Boat Steering Solutions, every boater's BFF, is not a repair shop. We remanufacture hydraulic devices back to original factory specs. We disassemble, inspect, and replace all defective parts. Simply tell us what's wrong. Ship us your helm, cylinder, it's remanufactured. Then back to you in a day or two, at like half the cost of buying new. Need hydraulic hose? Boat Steering Solutions, your official C-Star authorized service center, is your BFF. The savings are here at BoatSteer.com. 
Welcome back. You're tuned into Shipshape TV, America's favorite boat improvement show. Quint, I see you're here at the factory. You're going to put some shark ride on your new lips. Well, uh, actually, to tell you the truth, yes. I, uh, I kind of called Chris, the gentleman that helped me through this whole operation. He actually gave me permission to come in and coat it with shark hide before you guys delivered it. Yeah, yeah, get and, it done here. You know, I'm kind of, I'm kind of glad you're here to see this. I can kind of show you exactly what goes on when we do coat it. Correct. Guys, I, I want to welcome everybody back. We are now in, I think we're in plant number three. Five? Three. Plant number three here at Deco Boat Lifts in Safety Harbor, Florida. And we have now George Massell on the program, as well as Clint Bland. Clint is with shark hide. And, uh, Clint, I know this is your own lift. It's got to feel weird, you know. It, it does. I get George, to... your team actually makes this stuff. He's got... How satisfying must that be? Oh, well, very much so. I mean, I'm tickled to death with everything they've done for me all the way up to this point. To see them built, knowing these are going to be the ones on my dock, and allowing me to come in and actually shark hide them. Tell, tell, tell everybody at home, them. George. Um, two weeks ago, you were, you were watching what? <laughs> two weeks ago, I was watching your show, and you were doing the trailer over at um, at the studio. And I watch you do the aerosol on the ends and in the spots you couldn't get and, and shark hide the big beams. It came out really cool and I was, I'm looking forward to seeing it. George, George gave me a call and he was saying, you know, John, I'm really impressed with this product. Maybe I could integrate it into, Absolutely. you know, my, my product line and if it could get our boat lifts to look brand new forever, my gosh, what a sales tool that would be. And, and, and so, you know, not only are you covering your lift, we're kind of evaluating here to see, you know, right, George? Well, we're trying to look and see how, how it fits into our plan, how easy it is to apply, right. and how, how we get into the intricate parts of the lift, especially the upper beams. Right. Well, let's start off with basics. Okay. Yeah, basics. This is aluminum, all right? This is going to be dunked in and out of water hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of times. Right. What does the product actually do? The shark height itself is suspended and a couple different blends of solvents. When those solvents evaporate, it leaves behind a micro-thin film that separates the aluminum from the elements. It won't allow the water and oxygen to get to the aluminum, so therefore it's never gonna to begin to oxidize, and, and best of all, it won't begin to corrode, get those white little pock marks in it. And all you have to do is get a single good coat on it, and then now your customer is going to be able to enjoy this kind of appearance for years. Okay, start, start, years. start like coating that outer beam. How thin of a coat are we talking about? On, on beams like this, you season the cloth, and it's just as simple as just wiping down the length of the beam. Okay. Now that is one coat right there. That pass substitutes a coat. That coat within two minutes is going to be dry. Mm -hmm. So, George, you guys aren't going to have to worry about storing this out of, out of the way, storing it away from other production uh, uh, aspects. Do you have to do anything special? To yeah, there's no special the prep work or anything. Just right out of my assembly line, it goes straight to Shark Eye. Absolutely. And then uh, uh, right out for delivery. You guys, uh, I, I watched in your production line. You guys do a thorough cleaning after all the welding and assembly. You do a thorough cleaning, get rid of all the weld soot and stuff. That's it. You don't have to add any other steps. You're ready to go. You're ready to apply. But yeah, the aerosol, I noticed you were using that in the show. Right. You use that on the corners and nooks and crannies, especially good on the top beams. Well, the aerosol would work really well for that because these are a lot of busy areas you can't get into with a cloth. But that's for more of our homeowner, our do-it-yourselfer. What you guys would use in a production mode would be just simply put your shark hide in a spray bottle, you dial the tip down to a fine mist, and all you got to do is just fan it on, just mist it onto the part like so that. So that's getting in all the nooks and crannies, the crevices, all of that. And, and it'll do the same thing for the stainless as it will the aluminum. It Absolutely. gives that protective coating. Stainless steel by nature is not very quick to corrode or rust or show signs of anything like that. But it doesn't mean it's rust free. It no, it's, it's stainless, it's not stain proof. Yeah, correct. Okay. So, <laughs> but, but, no, I mean, but I mean, this Where's could it? turn it. Uh, that's pretty good. Where'd you get that from? Uh, you know, it's me. Uh, this could actually make stainless stain proof. Absolutely. It'll, okay. it'll keep these from forever from corroding. And I can't wait to see it on the motors, too, because the motors are the first thing to, to corrode up a little bit. The jacket? And, and, yeah, especially the aluminum and, and the stainless. Okay. And it's so this, when that's applied... It's this simple, George. That's all your guys in production. Now, you see, you'll see a little bead here and there. 
That's from the nozzle. I don't have the the best nozzle I could possibly use. Right. But, but it looks better already. Okay, but that's going to dry. Now, when that's dry, you're not going to see any of the, the little flaws or anything in it. How, how long does he have to wait? You, you apply it. How long does he have to wait for, for his team members to actually move it, to be able to touch it? Give this two minutes, and it'll be dry. It'll be dry. In two minutes, they can handle it, transport it, work on it, anything they want to do. Wow, that is, that is really, really awesome stuff. Hey, I'm going to have a lot of these little cans. you have it in... Uh buckets and pails exactly this is what we send to our, our uh, end users retail customers but for guys like yourself we package it in five gallon containers it's got a resealable reiki spout you can pour out what you want we also uh, package it in 55 gallon drums hi i'm chris Massell, one of the mechanical engineers at deco boat lifts since 1959, we've been leading the industry in both design and innovation, such as our patented cable retention system. So we can lift your boat quickly, quietly, and safely. I invite you to discover the Deco difference. Lift, Deco boat, lift, lift boats with ease. Deco has mastered the art of boat lifts. We make big boat lifts, little boat lifts. We have lifts for your toys, Lifts for all the boys. Deco's direct drive lifts. Deco's very elegant beamless lifts. Elevator lifts. Even the very sexy boathouse lifts. So remember that, that only Deco has mastered the beautiful art of boat lifts. Deco boat lifts, lifts boats with ease. Attention waterfront property owners already sold on the fact that synthetic lumber for decks and docks is far superior to the pitfalls of pressure treated wood. You know about the splintering and the weathering issues. However, not every composite board sold is alike. Some turn chalky, decay due to mold and mildew. Most fade in color with age, though not true when you opt for the best. Lumber Rock, the fastest growing manufacturer of synthetic lumber on and around the waterfront. Lumber Rock, we never fade away. Big news! Full episodes are now available on the ShipShake TV YouTube channel. Hit subscribe, and every time a program posts, you'll be personally notified. This is some time-lapse photography that we did on Clint Bland actually coating all of the components that make up his two boat lifts right here in the Deco plant. And if you're a manufacturer and you're thinking about maybe integrating shark hide metal protectant, as value added to your product line to where it doesn't change color, it's gonna make it look good, it's gonna make the customer happy, uh, it doesn't corrode, it's a big, big deal. 10 minutes, one man 10 minutes, that's not a lot of man hours into a job like this. And, and it does so much. But we have a lot of people that we need to thank who helped make today's show possible. First off, we need to thank the marine contractors in on the job. And, and that's Jimmy Williamson from Williamson Brothers. We also had Nikki on the program. Then we have the whole gang here at Deco helping us out with George Massal, Chris Massal. But this is part one of a multi-part series. Next time, it's gonna be really exciting. The barges are gonna be coming in by water. We're gonna be jetting in pilings. We're gonna start the construction of the dock. It's gonna be awesome. Hey, we're all out of time. I'm John Graviscus. We'll see you on the next go around. Protect bare metal from the damaging effects of salt, grime, and water with the long-lasting power of the Hyde. Shark Hyde Metal Protective. Shark Hyde for decades has been the only way to keep plain, randomized aluminum looking like new. Indefinitely, it's the only product that goes on in seconds and dries to the touch fast. Yet last years and years. Preserve that diamond plate. Coat stainless steel hardware. Hide all signs of aging from all bare metals with the Hyde. Shark Hyde. So what are you waiting for? Order now.